coaching career in 1998. I was a freshman girls basketball coach at Stratford High School, which is a small high school in Stratford, Connecticut, where I grew up. And I was a year out of college, and it was a great experience. I was only 22 years old, and I definitely had uh, my work cut out for me. And then fortunately, I caught a break, and I became the assistant men's basketball coach at Takeo Post University. I was there for two years, learned a lot about college basketball, I learned a lot about coaching at the Division II level. I was hands-on in all aspects of the program, really learned how to recruit in those two years at Takeo Post. I was given great advice um, by a former college basketball coach who said if I wanted to one day become a head coach at the college level, the best way to learn how to do that was to run my own program. And at 20 years old, I became a Division II college head coach. And I was at Post University for seven years. And that's where I really, really learned the business. I got the Southern Connecticut job back in 2010 after seven uh, years at Post University in Waterbury, Connecticut. And I was real fortunate to get the Southern Connecticut job. At that point, Southern Connecticut was probably one of the worst programs, if not the worst program in all of Division II. We went to the Elite Eight um, back in 2013 and 2014 in Southern Connecticut. We finished the year at 30 wins and only three losses. Uh, we ended up um, winning the East Region and we won the uh, Northeast 10 Conference Tournament in regular season as well. So, um, you know, getting to Elite Eight was certainly, been, was certainly a highlight of my professional career. Um, we ended up losing to the eventual national champion that year, Central Missouri. Uh, we ended up losing 98 to 88, but it was a fantastic experience for not only myself, but for our program and for the for the school um, to to be able to play at the at the national level was a was a big thrill indeed. So after five uh, pretty successful years at Southern Connecticut, um, I wasn't really looking to post or to apply for any other um, jobs because I was really settled at Southern Connecticut and um, we won 24 games last year and we had 10 guys returning. So I felt pretty confident that we were going to continue to do well at Southern Connecticut. But uh, Florida Southern um, opened up uh, back, in, back in April of this past year. Uh, Florida Southern um, I always knew was one of the best, if not the best, Division II basketball program in the entire country. And I followed them last year. I saw them win the national championship. I was in Evansville, Indiana, and I watched uh, Florida Southern cut the nets down. And uh, it kind of piqued my interest, and I figured uh, I would just throw my name in the ring and just sent a, a resume down. I didn't know anybody down here at Florida Southern. I didn't have any connections, but um, I figured it was worth a shot because of the idea of you know being at the best Division II program in the country, coming off a national championship season was certainly very appealing but also in terms of lifestyle to, to move my family down to, to Florida was possibly a really good situation personally and professionally so to make a long story short uh, I ended up getting the job fortunately the Southern Connecticut State men's basketball team needs a new head basketball coach Mike Donnelly resigns today as it turns out he's heading south taking over at Florida Southern the Moccasins are the defending national champs in Division II. Donnelly won 97 games over the last five years, really turned the Owls program around. He says he's going to miss New Haven. Hi, I think of my daddy being a coach at Florida Southern being good. It happened rather quickly. It happened probably within a period of four or five days. So it was a huge uh, life-changing um, decision that I had to make. To, to move my family and leave Southern Connecticut where I was comfortable to come down here and um, you know, take over the program at Florida Southern, but it was certainly worth it because um, the five or six months that I've been here at Florida Southern has been uh, really tremendous, not only for me, but for my family. Um, and now it's my job to continue the success here at Florida Southern and try to do as well as we could possibly do. And um, so far we've won 400 games in a row and uh, we like where we're heading right now.